John Shin often comes to Jetty Park in Fort Pierce to document the weather. The water is breaking over the uh, jetty over there. It could knock you off the rocks. He's seen days where the beach on the south end of the inlet is eroded due to pounding surf, but not today. They actually built up a lot last three weeks here. They have actually put a lot of ample sand here. Despite days of whipping winds and high waves, there's plenty of sand here thanks to a beach renourishment project underway. You know, every two to four years, we see this uh, erosion there because the uh, Saint, uh, the Fort Pierce Inlet breaks up the natural flow of sand on Hutchinson Island. 500,000 cubic yards of sand, about 153 Olympic sized swimming pools worth, are being spread out on this 1.3 mile stretch of beach. Now, some of the sand has already been washed away, but that's by design. Eventually, you know, it goes offshore and then comes back in and ends up in our beaches further south and ultimately into Martin County. The project has an $11.6 million price tag. The cost breakdown for this particular project, the federal government paying 77%, St. Lucie County picking up the rest. Here in Martin County, it's not a beach renourishment project, more of a coastal resilience project that's taking shape. Work has started at Bathtub Beach along MacArthur Boulevard to build a protective seawall in the dune. Armoring to protect the infrastructure in place as erosion does happen. Once the seawall is complete, the road itself will be raised about two and a half feet through several layers of pavement. Because it's lower than the base flood elevation. So the f base flood elevation of is five and we have areas of the road that are as low as elevation 2.5, which is two and a half feet above the sea level. Projects underway to hold the line in the never ending tug of war with Mother Nature. John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.